Question 1, this point P, is called the vertex. Basically means a turning point. Then the coordinates of this point, if you look at the bracket here, is x minus k. So this sign order is going to be the opposite for the x coordinate. So this is coordinate just k. And the y coordinate, you write the whole thing, whatever is without the bracket. So that's 5k minus 3. Question 2, we're going to expand this bracket. So with 2x times 3x, then you have a 2x times minus 2y. So we have 2x times 3x is 6, x squared, then minus 4, xy. Then we multiply everything in the second bracket y this y. So we get 3x times y. Then we get y times minus 2y is minus 2y squared. Now the middle two terms need to be simplified. So 6x squared minus 4 plus 3 is just to minus 1 x y minus 2 y squared. Number 3. This is easy to factorize, so we factorize first. 2 x is a common factor. We left x from the first term, then minus 2 from the second term, and is equal to 0. Now this means now 2x is equal to 0 or this bracket here x minus 2 is equal to 0. From here we divide both sides by 2 we get x equal to 0. Here we add 2 to both sides so we get x equal to 2. Number 4 complete the square so write the x, start the bracket, always close the bracket and always the square sign and you have a minus sign here. Now half of 10 is 5 because the minus sign so is minus 5. The number here is always the square of this number. So that will be 25. Then you add any other term which is 20. So now you simplify x minus 5 all squared minus 5. Number 5, first you add 4 on both sides. So we get x divided by 3 is equal to or less than 9. When you times both sides by 3, we get x is less or equal to 27. Number 6, we don't need to solve it. So we got this equation is equal to y and this equation is equal to y. Just put them equal to each other. So we have x squared plus 2x minus 4 is equal to 3x minus 1. Now bring everything to the left hand side. x squared then 2x minus 3x is going to be minus 1x minus 4 plus 1. This will be minus 3 and is equal to 0. That's it. Now, anything raised to the power half means square root. So we have to take the square root of 64, which is 8. Then the square root of a squared will be just a. Square root of b to the power 4 will be b to the power 2. Basically, you multiply the indices with the power. 
Now before we differentiate this, we have to rewrite x5 divided by 3 x to the power minus 1. Now you differentiate. So d by dx, multiply this fraction by minus 1. Then you reduce the power by 1, so it's minus 2. That's the answer, which you can write as minus 5 divided by 3x squared. Again, here, rewrite this. This is y equal to 5 thirds x to the power minus 2. Now differentiate. So minus 2 times 5 thirds is minus 10 divided by 3 to the x to the power minus 3, which you can write as minus 10 over 3 x to the power 3. Now the sketch. So when x is very large number, y go to 0. When x is very small number, 1 divided by small number is going to be very large number. So the y get large. So the graph would look like something like that. It's also true if x is negative number, 